Hello, hello everyone. Hello, welcome, welcome. Today is my version of a Mexican taco. Thank y'all for joining me. Thank you, thank you. Awesome, thank you, awesome, awesome. Hello. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. How about that? Thank you for joining me, I appreciate it. Thank you, welcome, welcome. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on my version of the Mexican taco. It's real easy, it's simple, and you can do it at home, okay? It's just a couple ingredients, it's not that many. So just go ahead. Hey, Cecilia, thanks for joining me. Thank you, hello, AP, thank you, thank you. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have rinsed off some cilantro, okay? Cilantro. We're gonna go ahead and cut this up a little bit, chop it up a little bit. And it's easy, it's real simple, it's not that hard to do, okay? Here we go, here we go. Just a couple of these and we're just gonna chop them up real finely. Thank you for joining me. Hey, Bonita, how are you doing? How are you doing? Hey, Rhonda, thank you for joining me. Yes, the Mexican taco, okay? Mexican taco. Just a little bit of the cilantro. Just a little bit. Okay? And we're going to chop this up a little finely. Not, not that much, but just the garnish, okay? It's really for your garnish. Cut this up a little bit. Not that much. And then we're going to Cut up a lime. Hey, thank you for joining me. Yes, we're gonna cut up a lime. They're not the sharp. Okay, and then we're gonna cut up avocado. Gotta have avocado. Real easy, not that hard to do. And you can use a, a spoon to scoop it out or you can just squeeze it. I just squeeze it out and it's real easy, just like that. And I love avocado. I'm an avocado eater, okay? <laughs> and then we're gonna cut up some onion, cut up some red onions. Thank you for all the loves and the hearts and, and the highs. Hey, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. Hey, if you don't know who I am, my name is Felisa. You can go ahead and put a one there, okay? Go ahead and put a one. If you have seen me before, go ahead and put a two. If you are catching the replay, go ahead and put hashtag replay, okay? I appreciate that. Mexican taco sounds great, right? About now. Um, um, I do, I'm Oklahoma City. I'm from Oklahoma City. That's where I'm doing the live from. Oklahoma City. So we're just gonna cut a little bit of those up, okay? Real finely for these, for your onions, cause you don't want it to overwhelm your uh, Mexican taco, okay? There we go. Not that, not that much, or just depends on how much you wanna put on there, it's really up to you. And then we're gonna cut on our fire for our chicken strips. It's grilled chicken strips by meat. Beyond, beyond me, okay? Beyond me. Thank you for joining me, I appreciate it. Beyond me, okay? And this is a plant-based a plant meat. And we're gonna use this for our meat. I'm gonna put a little oil in the frying pan. And this is grapeseed oil. I use mostly grapeseed oil, um, avocado oil. I don't use too many, too much um, olive oil in my frying. But I use this also because it helps. It's, it holds heat, okay? It holds the heat. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this in here, okay? Put that in here. We're gonna put a couple of strips in here, and this is plant-based meat, like I said before. We we'll put a little strips of these in here. It's real easy, y'all. This is a good little thing you can do or taco, Mexican taco you can do on a Sunday or take it to lunch the next day, okay? 
How are we doing? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, how are you doing? Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's what we're going to do today. And then also, I still season it. I still season your food. Just like it was just regular chicken, you still season it. You season it a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to put some yeast, um, natural yeast on here. It helps with the seasoning. Okay. And you put this on your meat as well. Okay. Open it this way. It gives, it gives it flavor. Okay, there we go. Got that. Let those fry in there just a little bit. Thank you for joining me. Hello, how are we doing? Yes, hey Lynn, thank you for joining me. Yes, Mexican taco today. Mexican taco. And if these pieces of meat are too big for you, you can always cut them up, okay? Cut them up just a little bit. Cause some of them kind of be a little chunky on the side, just a little bit. I'm gonna show you how it's looking. They look just like chicken strips, but it's plant based. Yes, <laughs> plant based. Okay, now I'm gonna use a little bit more oil over here on my little grill for my tortilla. Just a little bit. And then I'm gonna rub the oil on the pan a little bit with a paper towel, like that. And I'm gonna cut this down. There we go. So, for our tortillas, you can, you can use whatever tortilla you wanna use. I'm using more of a plant-based um, tortillas and then, hey, thank you, thank you. Um, hey, Keisha, thank you for joining me. So this right here, you can use sprouted corn tortillas. You can use this, this is organic, okay, as well. You can use corn tortillas. And you can use just the regular tort um, tortillas. I brought um, several, um, just to show you some options you can use to um, do your Mexican taco. You can use this as well, and this is, um, this is another tortilla you can use, and this one's made out of um, almond flour. You can use this, and this is, um, it is um, GMO free, gluten free, dairy free, soy free, and vegan. It's vegan, okay? All right. And then this is, a, so those are three, but then you can also use a whole wheat speak one. You can use this one, whatever one you want to use. This is just some options to give you this a more on a, a plant-based healthier side, okay? While that's still cooking, let me cut this up just a little bit more. And then we also got some sauce. Sriracha sauce. We have the green sauce and the red sauce. Gotta have some sauce on there. Yes, we do. Okay, so now we're gonna cut up a little bit more onion. I see that I don't have enough onion, y'all. I need some more onion. How we doing? Thank you for all the loves and the hearts. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to cut up just a little bit more onion. I see that I need some more onion. Cut up just a little bit more onion. And I like onions, and I love bell peppers. <laughs> onions and bell peppers. We got the lime already cut up. We got the chicken strips going as well and we're going to also put some cheese on here this is i had shredded cheese and i also have mozzarella cheese okay and this is a plant base and it's also made out of um, almond nuts um cashew nuts so you can use all oh, this is more on the plant-based side okay no i'm just using just one of the sauces i can do one for the the red or the green, I can do both if you like to use um, both. But I'm just going to use one of the sauce, and it might just be the green or the red. But I'm not for sure. We'll see, okay? But yeah, this is a plant-based cheese you can use. And it don't take long for your meat 
to actually start doing this little thing, cooking, loving on each other, talking to each other. Okay? I'm going to use the back one. So I'm going to use my little grillet for my tortilla so we can have some grill lines in there. Okay? And I'm going to use the almond flour. I'm going to use this one. Mm-hmm. This is going. And we're going to use two of these. We're going to cut this down just a little bit more. Thank y'all for joining me. Stay tuned. I appreciate you tuning in, stopping by, just to see what's cooking over here on this side, over here in Oklahoma City. Hey, let me know where I'm, some of y'all from. I'm from Oklahoma City. Go ahead and put your little, your state, your city, your town, where you're from, so I can um, give you a little shout out, okay? Like I said, I'm from Oklahoma City, and I really appreciate every one of you all joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Seattle. Oh, yes, Miss Keisha, Miss KB. Thank you for joining me. Oh, boy, it's the end of April. But celebrate all the year round. Oh, awesome. Hey, thank you. I appreciate y'all joining me. Thank you. I'm trying to catch the, 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 um, oh, wait, oh, that's Pennsylvania. Oh, New Jersey, New Jersey. Hey, Lynn, <laughs> New, New Jersey and Dallas from Bonita. Bonita's from the Dallas. Thank you, Louisiana. Hey, Gloria, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Margaret. Thank you for joining me. Yes, we're doing our Mexican tacos. I really appreciate y'all being here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's get back to the tortillas. And this is, like I said, this is um, just another way of fixing your um, tortilla, your Mexican taco on a more healthier side. Okay. Hey, that's where we got. That's what we're doing. And I really appreciate y'all joining me. So this is how it looks once it started, you know, frying and cooking a little bit. See, it look just like the real chicken strips. Okay, it even has the little, the little chart lines in there. You can see it. Yes, okay. We're going to keep this going. Make sure you flip over your tortillas. You don't want it to burn, so make sure you pay attention to that. Make sure you pay attention to your tortillas, okay? Don't let them burn. <laughs> don't let them burn. It's easy to do. It's easy to do. Awesome. Here we go. Okay. Like I said, we're going to use, I probably use, which one should I use? The green sauce or the red sauce? I'm going to let y'all choose. You like the red sauce or you like the green sauce? Let me know in the comments. Let me know which one you like for me to use, okay? There we go. What is that? Um, which one? The, oh, 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 oh. Beyond Meat. It's Beyond Meat. The grilled chicken, but it's a plant based. So, yes, it's beyond me. Oh, the green one? I see a green. I see green. I see green. I see red. Okay. We need a couple more. See who's going to win. Which one's going to win? Okay. We're going to move that over off the eye. We're going to pull this over here in the front, and we're going to get our plate. We're going to get our plate. All right. Thank y'all for joining. Thank y'all for joining. Wow. Ooh, that looks beautiful. That looks beautiful. Oh, look how beautiful they look. <laughs> and they're going to be good, too. It's going to be good. Okay, now, while this is on here, we still want to, we're going to go ahead and put this together, okay? Let's go ahead and use our cheese. I'm going to use some mozzarella cheese on here. In between here. Because we want it to stay warm as you're putting it together. Because you want your cheese to melt a little bit. You want all your ingredients to start talking and loving on each other while they're all in here in this one little spot. This one little spot together. Right? And then we're going to add our meat. I fold me. Put that in there. 
Get back over there. All right. There we go. Hey, thank you for joining me. Vegan cheese right here. Hey, Misha, thank you for joining me. Yes, vegan cheese today. Hey, Miss Rogers, how you doing? Thanks for joining me. Do I, yes, I do. I do my meal prep on Sundays. I do a meal prep for my food that I do eat through the week. And then sometimes on Sundays when I fix a meal like this, it usually lasts me a couple days. So I use it for my breakfast and my lunch, and then I fix some extra. Hey, thank you for the question. I appreciate it. Yes, yes. So that, that is the cheese. This is a real good cheese. They have several ones out there you can use. Um, just make sure um, that it's more on the plant-based if you're trying to eat more vegan, more vegetarian, or even plant-based or just eating more cleaner. So this is more on the plant-based. Like I said, it has, it's made like cashew nuts and um, almond nuts. Yes. Okay. We got this going. Woo-wee. So we're going to put that over there in the front and let that start melting a little bit. Let it start melting. And I'll put some cheese on top of the meat. Now, now remember, this is our version of the Mexican taco. Our version of Mexican taco. Then we're going to put our onions on top of here. While this is still on the fire a little bit, y'all, so it can stay warm. While it's still on the fire, but you still got to make sure that your tortilla is not burning. Okay? Make sure it's not burning. So I think, let me see. Let me go through the comments and see if we got a winner for the red or the green. One, two, three, one, two, three. I think green won. So we're going to use the green sauce. <laughs> okay. We're going to use the green sauce. We got our onions. We're going to put our avocado. Avocado. There we go. Move this out the way, off the heat. Avocado. And then we're going to put our cilantro. It's not that many ingredients, not that many, not that too many um, ingredients on here. So it don't take that long to fix. And then we're going to put some lime on here. Can you see that? There goes the lime. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip it. Just like that. We're going to flip it. Yes. Oop, we don't want that to fall. <laughs> hey, thank you. Okay, I'll get it to you, Miss KB. And anybody else that would like the recipe, I'll get it to you. It's so easy. Not that many ingredients. It's not that many. It is not. Yes. Oh, my God. This is looking so good. I wish I was here at the Kitchen Island so you can actually taste it in person. Yes. Kitchen Island right here. And taste it for yourself. Okay. There we go, y'all. There we go. Okay, so the green sauce won. So we're going to put some green sauce. Make sure you shake it up. And we're going to slide it on our plate. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And now we're gonna put our sauce on here. Just like that. And you can use how much sauce you wanna use, it's up to you. But yes. Okay, here we go. Y'all ready for a bite? Y'all ready for a bite? Here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That's good. That's good. You have to try it. 
Mm-hmm. 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 Oh my goodness. It says spicy, but it's not that spicy. It really isn't. It's really good. And I got this from Sprout. That's pretty good. Thank y'all for joining me. Yes. No, it is good. It really is good. Yes, it is. It really is good. Awesome. I appreciate it. everyone that's won the recipe. I really appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all for joining me. It's really easy. I'll get the recipe to you. It's not that many ingredients. And then you just fix it and add all the ingredients that I show you can use. And you can also add to it if you like. But this is really good. It's more on a healthier base. Plant-based, if you need, um, if you want, if you're trying to eat healthier and you don't want that many ingredients and you just try not to get bloated from a lot of other foods that you eat, keep you from getting bloated. This will help that, okay? Because of the ingredients that's in the Mexican taco, okay? So think about that. So each ingredient you put in here, think about what it does to the body. That's a good way to think about it when you're trying to eat healthy, okay? I thank y'all for joining me. I really appreciate it. Yes. Until next time, thank y'all for joining. I'll see y'all later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Try not to miss the comments. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I wish you can come really get a bite. I really do. Because it is really good. Because the ingredients, they are quality ingredients. And some of them is um, organic. And some of them is just more on the plant base. Okay? Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, me too. And like I said, you might can even, um, you know, I'm not going to say freeze them, but they'll, they'll last a couple of days. For, um, say, for instance, you want to take this for lunch tomorrow, be great, and then eat it for dinner tomorrow, be great, okay? Yeah, so you want to think about, be uh, more strategic about how you're fixing your food. You want to be more on the, um, prepping your food so it can last you a couple of days, okay? And then think about that. Thank you. Um. No, not yet, but I'm working on that. <laughs> I'm working on that. I really am, but I'm working on that. I really appreciate that, that question. But yes, but if you like to, if you like to know more information about the coaching that I'm working on, just go ahead and inbox me and I can help you with that, okay? Because I am working on that. So yes, like I said, this is real good. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. Thank y'all for joining me. Until next time, I'll see y'all next Sunday around the same time, 3 o'clock-ish, okay, for another my version of, but we'll see what there may be. You never know with me. <laughs> Come get a bite, y'all. Come get a bite. See y'all later. Thank you for all the hearts and the loves, and I thank y'all for stopping by because you didn't have to, and I really appreciate it. Bye. Thank you. Bon appétit.